We even tell you the problems, the death wish. We tell you under no circumstances whatsoever while you are doing this for about three weeks, touch anything that has any garlic whatsoever, garlic oil, garlic salt, garlic butter, in your salad dressing or food, because garlic, when it gets into the blood, is a deadly poison. Did you know this? You can drink rattlesnake venom, and it won't hurt you. But don't get that rattlesnake venom into a wound or a cut or an ulcer. You will die if you don't have an anti-venom. Garlic has a compound called sulfone, S-U-L-F-O-N-E, hydroxyl, which passes the blood-brain barrier that means if you rub a clove of garlic on the sole of your foot, in about two minutes you'll smell it on your wrist. You know this. It carries past the corpus callosum, poisons both brain hemispheres. I discovered this in the 1970s when I was personally the largest manufacturer of ethical EEG, electroencephalographic biofeedback uh, equipment in the United States. And people would come home from, uh, come back to a class, doctors that we were training to use this, and be clinically dead on the EEG machine. We found that that had a little garlic in their salad. It totally dissociates the left and right hemisphere. You can see this by running your electrodes frontal, up here by the third eye, to the occipital, just over this little bump on the back of your head. You want to put your money up? You'll lose. We had this investigated at a Northern California medical college. They found that garlic killed thousands, tens of thousands of brain cells, even in the small amount you got in the salad dressing. But it doesn't matter. You've got billions of trillions of cells in your brain. And people with the brain the size of a walnut, microcephalies, uh, hydrocephalies, etc., can be mathematical geniuses, musicians, and what have you. Now, this is the most politically correct, incorrect thing I can tell you. Most people think garlic is a health food. It isn't. The people I've gotten off of garlic because we've shown them that bullets used to be rubbed in garlic in World War I and II. They didn't have to kill anyone by hitting him in the heart. If he was just nicked, he would die. When I bought a blowgun from Jim Solomon up at the Global Sciences in Denver, he took me out in the hall and said, Bob, if you want to kill somebody, just get a clove of garlic push the point of your dart gun, your blowgun projectile, into that, and he will die very rapidly. The CIA is trained to use this, trained to use oleander leaves, which are an alkaloid. Six leaves will kill a human being. Trained to use water infusions of nicotine, which is another deadly poison in the blood.